Hi everyone, welcome back to Nat and Essie Craft. Today I will be showing you how to make a tie-dye t-shirt the right way with the right colors. Before we get started, don't forget to hit a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Here is what you need. A bowl, a t-shirt, soda ash, rubber bands, a measuring bowl, a scale, a fork, some measuring cups, some containers, plastic bags, and of course your dye. I got my dye at Dharma Trading Company and it is my favorite. So here is what we're doing first. We're taking our soda ash fix. 32 ounces of water and you put 1 4th cup of soda ash inside. Let's get our water. It is lukewarm so that the soda ash can dissolve faster and just spread it in there. Stir it up and make sure it's completely dissolved before you put your shirts inside. Soak them real good. And this changes the pH of your t-shirt. And I want to show you on the left hand side is a shirt with soda ash. And on the right hand side, I have a shirt without soda ash. It completely changes the color of your shirt. Do not forget this step. All of these products are at Dama Trading Company and I will show you their website down below. However, this video is not sponsored. This is just my favorite place to get dyes. Okay, so when we have our dyes, let's go to their website and they are meticulous about how you do your dyes. Every color you get has different instructions. Per eight ounces, you have to use a different amount of grams. So for lemon yellow, for an eight ounce container, you use 6.2 grams of dye. However, bright yellow, you use 8.2 for eight ounces. We are using two ounce bottles, so just divide that number by four. I just went ahead and wrote it on my cap. Okay, so for two ounces of the turquoise, we're using 4.5, which I just measured out to five, and fill it up. Shake it up really, really well. Make sure all that pigment gets into the mixture. Next one is Cardinal Red, 8.1. So that is 8.1 grams for eight ounces. So we're using two ounces. Divide that by four and you get the right amount. The colors are awesome. Fill up your colors and do the same measurement for all the colors. Make sure you always go and check the measurements in grams per ounces for every color. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Make sure all that dye, sometimes I bang it to make sure it gets loose from the bottom, but really shake up your colors. This is going to make a big difference in how your shirts look. Okay. While I was making my colors, I let my shirts soak, squeeze it out, really squeeze those shirts out well so they're damp but not dry, and then place it on a table. I would recommend doing all of this outside since it stains. Take your fork and spin. You can do it with your fingers, but I find that a fork makes a really tight loop. And please wear gloves when you do this. I did not have any gloves and you will see how messy my hands get. For the next step, you can either use rubber bands or cotton thread. The whole purpose is only to hold it in place, not to be tight. So use loose rubber bands to really just hold your shirt in place. You can see the spiral the best if you flip your shirt over, you have a pretty side. 
and a lumpy side. Now, in sections, we're going to go ahead and paint our shirt. The outside of the shirt holds more paint, so be sure to put more on the outside and usually start from the outside and work your way in. That way your shirt gets completely covered. You want to use tons and tons of colors. Make sure you squirt in between every single one of those crevices. I will show you what happens in this tutorial. If you do not, you will have tons and tons of leftover white. Even though you don't see it on the top, it will be white on the inside. So be sure to squirt into each one of those tiny, tiny holes. Now let's go ahead and flip it over. Every single one of those little, little holes needs dye. But you will learn when your first shirt has tons and tons of white spots that you really have to get in there and make sure that nothing looks white. Recommended is at least 24 hours overnight of letting this paint soak in with Dharma Trading Company colors or really any dye. This is not an instant gratification. So bag it up and look at my hands. Oh my goodness. And let it sit for at least 24 hours in the bag. My clock goes a little bit faster than yours, so it has been 24 hours for me. You can see my hands are so much cleaner. And we're going to go ahead and cut these rubber bands. My shirt purposely has lots of white. However, if you want it to be completely colored, be sure to go inside of every single one of those caves and fill in the color. Since we used the ash soda, used great dye, our colors turned out awesome. They're bright, they're vibrant, it looks so good. Let's go ahead and check out the shirt I made with the double spiral. I used just a little bit more color, but you can see where I'm trying to show you to put more dye. Color reveal number two. Whoa, just a little bit more color. It looks so good. I could have used a little bit more dye on this one, but that's okay. Rinse it well before you throw it into the laundry. Carefully carry it to your laundry room and wash it by itself. Dharma Trading Company recommends using Thrum Throw Pole or whatever it's called detergent to help make sure that the colors stay on the shirt and not on your washing machine. And after rinsed and washed, here is my first shirt that has lots of white, but more color will get rid of that white. However, the spiral looks awesome and the colors look awesome because we use the soda ash. The second shirt is so much cooler with the double spiral. We use just a little bit more color. And last but not least, if you do skip the sodium ash stage, your shirt will lose all its color. Check that out. That is the same colors as I used for the last two shirts but skipping one step. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more tie-dye fun crafts.